All right, all right, all right, kids, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Stilk. Today we have a couple of guests, and uh, it would be Ghost Etiquette, Break Even, which is a really great producer from uh, UK. He's freshly started, also my student. He just has his first release ever. And then, hey, Kai-Fi, how are you doing? And then we probably have Neil Hunter. Let's see if he can, yeah. So he's going to join. I just need to message him. <laughs> uh, and here we go. So uh, you probably remember the Stereo Talk is a, is a talk show, you know, basically about music. So how about we play some music? I'm going to run Spotify. I'm gonna hope for the best. Actually, you know what? Let's just play my set. So don't worry about what you see right now. I'm gonna pop back in very, very soon. Actually, I could do like a separate screens. Yeah, that would be easier. But I don't know how to, so I'm not gonna do that right now. So let me just play the set from ASOT. And uh, that would be in here somewhere. ASOT. Let's put some confetti there. Boop. So we exploded with confetti. Hey, Ghost Etiquette, Tars HR, how are you guys doing? So, played it. Set. Here we go. And you should be hearing some music in the background. And here we go. From the beginning. So, if you don't hear the music, that's because I suck big time. I think you, you can hear the music now, right? I think you can hear it. It's just, it's just me who can't hear it. So, just do this. Yeah, I should be able to hear the music now. Can you hear the music, guys? Please let me know if you can hear the music. We hear you and the music. I mean, so, so we can start this. Um, hoping. I'm just really curious why I can't hear it, you know? Uh, that's the main thing for me right now but anyways if you can hear the music that means I did something right but because I can't hear it that means I did something wrong so let me just see if yeah let's just invite the first guest and let's see so our first guest today will be Shane from Ghost Etiquette he's a really great producer and uh, he's from Canada Vancouver and uh, he he loves uh, his wheat and he loves making music <laughs> and he's absolutely great dude. So guys, welcome Shane from Ghost Etiquette. Here we go, he's loading up. Hey bro! Very nice to see you here. How are you doing, man? I am great. Thanks much. How are you doing? I'm just checking if, if people can hear you because I think I did something wrong. So. Guys, can you tell me if you can hear Shane, please? Oh my Hello. god. Listen. Listen. Howdy, I think, howdy. yeah, I think they can hear you. So it's working. It's working. All right, man. So I'm so happy to have you here with me. Uh, if you want your microphone a little bit louder, that would be really, really helpful. Try him. And uh, yeah, I'm so glad to have you here right now. And uh, I, I already told guys that you're from Vancouver, Canada. And you are playing, you know, with a music producer with your project Ghost Etiquette that you work on with your cousin Pete. So, and um, my question is, before we like start everything, what is your favorite genre of music? And now, be careful what you say because there are so many people watching us right now. I think it's like ten. It's it's trance. It's always trance. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? My favorite non trance genre, uh, like. I think when people ask me to say like top three bands or something like that, like Radiohead always ends up in there. I love Radiohead. Uh, White Stripes, so like bluesy rock. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who else? The Doors. Love The Doors. <laughs> classic, classic. Classic. Great poet. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I actually love Jeff Morrison too. The Doors were like my inspiration in the past. You know, I wanted to make the dark music. Yeah. And I recently just started to make some more dark music which is weird. 
under the crowd control thing. Okay, so you you've been producing for like how many years right now? Uh, like trance music, I think about five years. But I've been like working in recording studios and producing yeah different kinds of music for like all my life. <laughs> <laughs> I got a doll when I was like twelve, so. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like like seriously, since I was uh, since about the last ten years. Nice, um, yeah. wow. So so trans has been, and uh, uh, I know that recently you had one of your tracks that you did with Pete on a state of trance, and it was your original track. Can you tell us more about this track? Yeah, that was a huge step. Uh, yeah, swim, swim. We did with Cora, who is uh, another local uh, vocalist here in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And yeah, swim was something that. Pete knows Cora. We met with her. She sent us a demo, and uh, it was still it was still like half complete as well. And so we were like, "Oh, this is we are already into that." It had the hook, and we were like, "You know, we could use like a little more a, a bridge." And so we worked a little together uh, to get to get the the uh, next part of the song, and then and then yeah, we took it away with production eyes. Nice. And went trance with it because she's not really a trance head, so. <laughs> It wasn't, I wasn't really surprised to hear it in uh, in the on the state of trance because it's a really amazing track. So congratulations on that! It was your first original track on a state of trance. So I wish you there will be more and more uh, for you. By the way, guys watching us right now, I would like to say uh, hi to Music Is Life 2120, Angie 9393, Kai Fi 2024. I don't know what you girls have with those numbers, but uh, I. I respect that. <laughs> so, uh, if you guys have any questions for Ghost Etiquette, feel free to ask. Uh, we will be here for about 30 minutes for the stereo talk. And um, Shane, I didn't really prepare uh, for today because usually Miss Ryoda is doing this with me and she prepares all the rapid questions. So, I'm just going to ask you five quick questions and you have to answer super quickly and I have to come up with those questions. Number one, okay. number one burger or pizza? Burger. Dogs or cats? Cats. Okay. Both. I'm a... I love both, like crazy. But... Okay, you stayed with us in Prague and you there were two chihuahuas. I, we can count them as a partially cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm dog sitting right now and cats sitting. But yeah, like I, when I was growing up, I was always a cat person. I love dogs, but uh, it's, it's a lot of responsibility as an owner, you know, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm, cats. I'm an animal. Okay, let's okay, let's go with cats then. You can't choose okay. both, okay? Okay, if you could if you could take three things with you to Mars, what would it be? Ooh. Uh, my laptop for producing, obviously. <laughs> um three things. Three. Uh, uh, it's gotta be an instrument, it's gotta be either a piano or a guitar. Beep. I think I Piano. Beep. And, uh, beep. 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 My coffee maker. Okay, nice one. Good good choices. I think we have two more, right? So this will be a, a very tricky one. What's your least favorite color in the world and why? Uh that like swampy green color that for some reason people are putting on like luxury cars like there's like beamers driving around but they're in like it looks like someone like shrek puked on their car <laughs> but they're like eighty thousand dollar cars it's like what the hell are you doing that color <laughs> oh yeah that's actually I, had to, i i knew you were gonna say that one because to me it's also that ugly green i'm actually gonna change my background here because i can't look at it right now it just makes me sick so let's do sunset hopefully it works And okay, last question as a tricky one. When are you going to be streaming next on Twitch? Uh, what day is it today? Tuesday, Friday. I will be streaming on Friday night. Beautiful. And uh, what's your uh, Twitch name so we can tell everyone here? Ghost Dedicated, and I'll just say hi in the chat. So, hello. Uh, you can see that it's ghost underscore etiquette. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm guys, so for, us, for for you watching us right now, from wherever you are, let us know in the chat. Uh, I see we have a couple of people here. So if you have any questions for ghost etiquette, Shane here, just feel free to ask. He will be here with us till the end, and he's going to ask. Hey, Triot. Hopefully he will be able to join us as well. He, he promised he might, so we'll see. We'll see. And now I'd like to welcome our next guest, which is Kevin Hort, aka Breakeven, also known from our chat. 
is one of my students and here it is uh, Kevin how are you doing bro nice to see you here welcome welcome let's go okay see you Ahoy. yeah good to see you too so uh, how are you man how are you doing I'm good very good thank you very good and um, just so you know guys, uh, today I, I also teach music and I had the a privilege to be teaching Kevin here and uh, he's been a trans fan for, I don't know, how many years have you been listening to trans, bro? Uh, since before it was called trans. <laughs> wow, okay, that's... Back when it was that's, just uh, called electronic music where you go back to the really early days of sort of the, the early Matt Dairy tracks, uh, Laquan, things like that. That was um, uh, 27, 28 years ago, I guess. Jeez, that's almost when I was 10. I remember back then it was called Techno. All of it. Yeah. yeah, it was just Techno. I don't know if you know that, guys, but it was actually Talato XLC who invented the name Techno. And really? he, he also wrote a wow. book about it. I'm actually going to do a YouTube video about, about the man who invented Techno. Because he was working in in a record store in Frankfurt and he had vinyls, you know, which were like electronic music and technology music he called it and he didn't know, you know, how to call it so he put it in one pile and just called it technology music but when he was looking at it, he was like it just sounds weird so he just removed the logi and it was just techno and uh, and boom! Thank you Tala to XLC so, so Kevin, you just had your very first release it's called Push it was released on Silent Records, which was a of mine. So tell me, after 28 years of listening to music, now being able to release your first track, how do you feel? How, how is it? How does it feel? It, it, is, it is amazing. Um, <clears throat> as I said earlier when we had the lesson, the, the, the amount of support the track has been getting, the amount of feedback, the positive feedback I've been getting from the DJs, but people contacting me from all around the world, we're now playing it in our radio show, we're playing it in our sets, love the track. And to be in that position is just absolutely amazing. It is, uh, it's a little bit surreal at the moment, it's still sinking in because they say it's only last Friday. And I'm kind of looking forward to the summer, uh, hoping that a few of the festivals that I managed to get to this year are going to be playing. It'd be, be fantastic to see a group of fans dance. So, dancing to your track, get, you know, really losing it to you. I mean, you get it all the time, it's something you're used to now, but for me, uh, it's um, it's going to be a new experience and I am really looking forward to it. Well, I am a little bit used to it. I still I still <laughs> enjoy every release I do because, you yeah. know, it always comes from the heart. Okay, so some people saying that I should turn the background music down, so I'm just going to dip it down a little bit more. Okay, great. Yeah, you know, it's the first time I'm doing this using Zoom and OBS, so oh, okay. it's pretty pretty new to me. Let's go back to Zoom again. Look at the dancing boy. Okay, Kevin, <laughs> but my question was, how does it feel to be a producer after 28 years of being a fan and listener? It is an, an amazing feeling. As I said, it's still it's still kind of sinking in. It's... it's um, you can't prepare yourself for um, feedback from a track that you've done from big DJs where they're saying, uh, you know, amazing track. I mean, some of the some of the D some of the feedback I got back from Silent Shore Records, there were people giving it ten out of ten. Um, I think its average score was like seven point six. And I mean, some of these DJs, you've got Giuseppe Ivani in there. Amos and Riot Night, and there's lots of others, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. But every single one says they're going to support the track. Everyone loves the track. Um, reading through that list for the first time just made the hairs on the back of my neck just stand up, just just tingles. It was just like an unbelievable moment, really. Well, um, if you if you guys are interested, I'm just showing the screen. This is Kevin's name, Break Even. I actually liked his song. It's very nice. And I had the pleasure to to be there on, on Kev's journey, and uh, yeah, uh, and he's now working on a next track, and I have to tell you, it's even better than the one before. So there is a lot of uh, to look forward to from this guy. I'm telling you, like 28 years of being a fan of trance. I think you have 
loads like what people literally enjoy and i like that old school classic vibe that you have in your tracks with the futuristic sound i big fan man i think uh i can't wait to see you on the stage you know or maybe have a remix from from you done in the future it, it's uh, I, i have to i have to give thanks where thanks is due and anyone that's looking to produce you are the man they need to be speaking to because that track wouldn't exist without yeah. without your tuition no oh, thank you very much mate i appreciate the ideas, it the ideas can be there but it's knowing how to get those ideas into your daw and then how to fine tune them and without your knowledge and without your tuition and your mentoring that wouldn't have happened um, definitely i'll second that <laughs> <laughs> i'm honored i'm honored thank yeah. you thank you very much yeah. thank you very much thank guys you. if you have any questions for kev me or shane don't uh, hesitate to ask if you're watching us on youtube or twitch just ask anything we are here to answer uh so kev now uh, i think we need to find some uh, rapid questions for you and i'm just gonna google them because uh, pff, rapid questions funny here we go 26 264 rapid questions here we go Woo. are you ready fire away okay what's your job title i'm an electrical engineer okay nice i didn't know that who is your hero i don't know who i'd put down as a hero too many people i think it's too many great people in the world <laughs> Uh wow. Name name and onomatope uh, I'm not even sure I know what that is. Me neither. <laughs> and I don't know if it is uh, a word that sounds like what the word is. So if you're like a door is creaking, it's like because the it goes creak. Oh a, nice. Um, okay. okay, that makes some sense. And, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the question? What's your Hogwarts house? Gryffindor. Nice. I was in. I was actually in LA in the studios of Warner Brothers. I put the head on, and it said Hufflepuff. I was like, that that <laughs> thing is broken. <laughs> <laughs> but it it really worked for my wife, Miss Reorder. She was slithering. Okay. <laughs> one last one last question. <laughs> what is a good spy code name for you? Break even. <laughs> oh, that's your DJ name, but okay, I, I get it. I get it. Okay, that's nice. Okay, guys, I think it's time to uh, send our next guest into the party. It's Mr. Neil Hunter, and he is joining us from uh, far away Scotland. Hello. Hey, hey, Neil, how are you doing? Hey, Can you put your mic a little bit louder? Uh, two seconds. One, two. I am old, you know. <laughs> are you? <laughs> okay, guys, we have Mr. Neil Hunter here. He just celebrated. Was it 20 years with your wife? 20 years, yeah, 20 years. Uh, absolutely, Wednesday. absolutely Wednesday. beautiful. You might know Neil. Yeah, you might know Neil. He actually did. Uh, yeah, congratulations. Where are my manners? So sorry, bro. <laughs> so you might know Neil because uh, he made a track uh, together with me uh last year which was released on armada music i'm gonna probably just highlight for you guys because i'm lazy uh, neil hunter let's show us neil hunter hunter Spotify. speak there he is Spotify. he already had some really great releases but the track was called uh you should know and, and it just had one million listens uh, incredible man wow Congratulations! Well done. One million. Yeah, you know what? For ne nice. next stereo talk, I will have like a sound um, stuff prepared so I can like, like and people <laughs> going nuts. I'm hoping Triad will be able to to join us as well a little bit later. So Neil, I'm so happy to see you here. And um, so uh, why I invited you here today because you also worked on something very special. And uh, I hear it's it's about to, to be finished. It's like a new track, also vocals there from the same vocalist as when we did You Should Know. So maybe you can tell us a little bit more about this track that you have uh, lined up. Yeah. Um, well, what can I say about it? It's, I actually got the lyrics, must have been last year, probably in October. It's going through a bit of a rough patch, as, as everybody does. 
especially during this COVID. But um, I think I changed the title of the track about six times. And I ended up with, it. it's a track called I Was Beaten Down. Um, and it probably took me about six months to to get it right, I think. Uh, I think just the other week, I think I let you listen to it, Tabor. Um, and I think it sounds pretty good. Uh, it does. I actually did hear the track and what Neil was just talking about is 100% uh, what you will hear in the track. Uh, have you signed it yet? Is it coming up on a label? Uh, I sent it to Armada, but I've not heard anything back yet. So well, fingers crossed, man. Week. Fingers crossed. That was just last week. Because so now yeah, it's a brilliant it's, track. Uh, I ended up calling it I Was Beaten Down. Um, I think when you listened to it, it was called... Was it? Uh, this is not the end or something like that. <laughs> yeah, something like something like that. Well, uh, why am I why am I speaking actually about this? Because uh, I was a little bit there through the rough patch that Neil was going through, and uh, I tried to be as much support as I could, you know, despite being a little bit burned out. Yeah. And uh, what I want to say is uh, this: for us musicians, when we have like these down moments, you know, when we're feeling like really down and we need, you know, some lift up. This is what we do. We 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 put all of those feelings into the music, and uh, I, it happened to me many times that when I did a, a track when I was feeling down and I released it, and I released those emotions into the track, I actually got a lot of feedback from people that that track particularly helped them in the same situation. So even though we are releasing, you know, those really at the moment is like negative feelings, but they are turning into positive and helping people in really, really hard uh, situations. So and I think you'll probably hear that in this track if uh, if it does get signed. Oh, it's beautiful. It has uh, it has vocals by Zach Alvin, and I can't wait for this one to be released. And just so you know, guys, uh, me and Neil, we are actually also working on a new collaboration. And and today I spoke uh, to my NR and Armada, and we are looking for a very special vocalist. So it's brooving. Uh, by the way, try out if you're joining us, let us know in the chat. And uh, Neil, one last question. You're from Scotland. Uh, so. what, what's the weather like right now? It's actually quite nice. I was actually out walking just as you, <laughs> as you text me. <laughs> so it's actually it's 12 degrees at the moment. Oh, nice. In Scotland. It was uh, peeing a rain this morning, but uh, it's. Uh, it's yeah. Up. So just to piss you off, in Prague was like 25 degrees, warm, <laughs> sunny. <laughs> Beautiful right, weather. Where's the exit button? The exit button? <laughs> Please, no! Oh, I'm on, I'm on wait, Triad is messaging me something. Uh, let's see what's happening. He's ready to roll. Just get in. <laughs> okay, so we'll have one more guest. But, so, for everyone here, we have five rapid questions. Now, Neil, you're next. Are you ready? No. Okay, first one. Finish the phrase. The way to my heart is? Music. Nice. I told you to say burgers. That's what I would say. I was going to say food, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a food addict. I had to stop eating because I was eating too much. I put in like, during my birthday, my birthday on Monday. So I celebrated from Friday till Monday and I was eating every day crazy. Ah, yeah. I have to stop. Okay. I, we already had this question, but I want to ask you as well. Batman or Superman? Superman. We didn't have this question. But uh, oh, wait, try out. Oh, I didn't send him the details. I did. Give me a second. Sorry about this, guys. I was really totally. Oh, here he goes. Here he comes. Okay, I'm gonna get him. How many questions did I give you? Two. Okay. Do you? <laughs> mm -hmm, this is a good one. Have you ever won a bet? I ever won a bet yes yeah. yes what was it okay that's not part of the question i don't want to know okay are you a morning or evening person evening okay what's the punchline to your favorite joke the punchline to my favorite joke god now you're asking now oh, we can skip this what's your guilty yeah. pleasure that's much better burgers burgers <laughs> it's true mine is also steaks but don't tell anyone so guys, we have now four guests here right now. Uh, we have uh, Shane from Ghost Etiquette, Kevin Hort from Break Even, and Neil Hunter himself. 
and uh, we're talking about everything but music and some music. So if you wanna if you wanna join us, actually, uh, you can uh, just uh, go on a chat on uh, YouTube or Twitch, and you can ask anything you would like to ask any one of our guests. Okay, now let's invite our next guest, Mr. Triode Official from sunny San Francisco. Uh, recently, recently divorced from Google, and he is now here. Hey, 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 bro! How you doing? Can you hear us? What's up, dude? <laughs> hey, nice to see right? you, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know what? It's so funny. I have my well, some of my favorite people in here right now on this chat. So, welcome, welcome. So, uh, you you're you're in California. In the morning, right? Uh, it's eleven thirty in the morning. It's the oh, same yeah. time as you, bro. <laughs> we live in the same time zone. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, not far from Canada. Yeah, Kaifai says hi to Triads. Uh, she's now on the chat. Uh, I don't know how many What's people up? are watching us right now. Uh, Chris, your microphone is a little bit distorting. Just, just so oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 hold on. Hold on, what the hell's wrong with this thing? And uh, Stephen Asel is asking about what? Well, if you wanna, if you wanna ask us a question, anything, we answer everything. Even like you know, life's Truthfully. most important I'm questions. Is that, is that okay? Yeah, it's, it's. I think it's perfect. Maybe you're too quiet. Speak. Uh, yeah, you're good. You're good, Chris. So how are you doing, man? Been a long time. I'm good, dude. I, I think I saw you yesterday. So it was like five years ago. And we were testing the stereo talk. So thank you very much uh, in advance, you know, for actually for helping me setting this all up. And, and uh, oh, my question is, I haven't heard uh, any new music in some time. So what's happening? Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, it's been kind of busy. I got actually a few tracks in the in the pipeline. Uh, I have. Uh, well, actually, we just recently did a, a cover. Uh, it's another Marlow uh, cover. Uh, we did "Wake Me Up," um, and that was played. That was played out at ASOT, so that was kind of cool. Oh, nice! I was not signed. Was so. it? Was it? Was it last Thursday? Uh, it was at the ASOT 1000 in LA. Oh, nice! Um, we actually played it a bunch of times in other games. He, he played it up on the stage. And sat that's on stage at ASOT, so. Oh wow, that's that's crazy. That's nice. Congratulations, uh, man. And well, so many people probably know you from your first, uh, you know, uh, cover that you did with Marlo, you know, for Castles in the Sky, which is personally my favorite track. So, can you tell us a little bit more about how it came to be? Because I'm really interested to know, you know, if if there are some producers watching us right now and they're like, oh, I want to make a cover of something. And I want to make a collaboration with someone big. So, how did all that happen? Uh, Castles in the Sky. Well, it's kind of a weird mistake. So, uh, I was at one time. It was like five in the morning, and you know, we just decided. I just decided to play the original Castles in the Sky. And at the end of it, I realized, I'm like, you know, that there's got to be an update to this track, and there was it. So, uh, I stayed up that morning till like <laughs> noon. And I ended up started writing uh, a cover of Castles for myself, um, and then I, you know, a couple about a couple months later, I showed it to Marlo, and he asked if we collab, and we did that collab, um, and then he we tried to find some licensing for it, but we had to replace the vocals. So then he called up Alien and said, "Hey, can you do the vo can you do the vocals for it?" And that's that's how Castles came out. Well, I love the track, man. I played it so many times that I can't even count it anymore. So uh, th <laughs> thanks for making it. Um, really appreciate it, and I think the whole world appreciates it. And um, so, just a couple months ago, you left your job at Google, which uh, yeah. must you probably had a good reason, but it must have been scary just to leave the job, you know, and just be on your own again and do something. But I know that you didn't waste time, and that you started working on something really special which might really help some people on Twitch that are streaming music. So maybe you can reveal a little bit of, uh, about it. Yeah, um, so I'm working on an app. Uh, it's called Now Playing. Uh, it's actually been in development for about two years now. Um, and it will read anything from your DJ equipment or DJ software and place it on the bottom of the screen 
for, uh, for people to see on Twitch. Sort of like the way MTV did it back in, when they actually ran videos. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> ah, I need it now. Don't I don't want to tell Ooh. anyone that you send me a beta version that is working. I'm not going to tell you. Well, you were one of the first beta testers from back in the day, dude. So. <laughs> yeah, it Before. did. It, it didn't work for Denon. No, it didn't work for Denon then, but it does but, now. But yeah, it does. Yeah, and I, I know it's great. Anyways, if you have any questions, we're still here for about five more minutes. Uh, this is Stereo Total. I'm here with amazing guests. Uh, Shane Robinski, Ghost Etiquette, big applause. Mr. Kevin Horde, aka Breakeven. Mr. Chris Le, aka Triode Official, huge applause. And Neil Hunter as himself. <coughs> and we will be back after this. Anyway, Chris, uh, I always ask my guests uh, five rapid questions. So, are you ready to un quickly? I've been born ready, baby. Okay, so these will be deep rapid fire questions all of them will be very deep what do you think the meaning of life is 42 what <laughs> you know, if you know. <laughs> i saw a movie 42 it was amazing it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nerd joke it's a great joke uh somebody maybe can explain because i'm a nerd and i don't know <laughs> Send you a book. I'll send you a book. Copy of the book. It's the answer. It's the answer to. Book. Yeah, I don't have this book actually. So, what was one before and after in your life? What was before and after one before and after in your life? I was a cat, and uh, after I'll probably be a cat then. Another cat the person. Answer. Okay, so so this one will be a good one. Burger, or burger with pizza, or pizza with burger. Or pizza? Pizza with burger on top of another burger. That's a good one. I always had a dream, have a burger and a slice of pizza in between, you know? And that <laughs> wrapped, wrapped in the pizza. I can help you achieve. A calzone pizza burger. Yeah, calzone pizza burger with burger. Okay, no more deep yeah, questions. Uh, hard drop it questions. What is your deepest fear? Uh, being bored. Good one. And now, what makes you happy? Uh, loud music. Amazing. So see, guys, there's so many. That's beautiful. Now, because I want to be fair to you guys, you all can ask me one rapid question, but please be gentle. Oh. Before you do that, we still have a few minutes, so if you have any questions, please you know, do that. Uh, for next time, I'm going to prepare all the sounds, so for the rapid questions we will have like a dun 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 you know, and stuff like that, so it's going to be like a proper talk show, and I was hoping to invite Armin van Buren, but I'm going to keep it for myself for now. Okay, if you want to ask me some rapid questions, go, I'm I'm here, I'm ready. Alright, I have one for you, ready? Okay, Chris. What artist don't you ever want to admit that you like? What artist do I ever want to admit that I like? That you don't want to admit that you like. Guilty pleasure. <laughs> I'm always very, I'm always very honest about this, but I'm gonna say Spice Girls. Yes. <laughs> you knew it, right? Okay, Kev. Never give up on the good times, bro. <laughs> disappointed. I, oh, come on, I love Spice Girls. Chat, chat. If you're watching us, do you like Spice Girls? Let us know. Okay, Kev, go. Who would you really like to work with if you had the chance to do a track with anyone? Hans with Zimmer. Any, any band. Hans Zimmer. Ooh. Hans Zimmer. Because his name his name is already a room, you know? So there will be plenty of room. Zimmer, room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shane. Star Trek or Star Wars? Oh, why did you do that? <laughs> oh, be Star Wars. What? You know what? If you say anything else, I am going. <laughs> I'm gonna just do this. May the force be with you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Neil. Ready? Trainers or Crocs? Depends. <laughs> Depends, you know. I like to take my Crocs when I go to sea, so I don't catch a, you know, the hamster whatever that bites you in the leg 
No, trainers. Man, I'm not a Crocs man. And have you seen people wearing socks in Crocs? Yes. That's so disgusting. Yeah, that's just well it's worse. worse. It's actually worse than socks and sandals. You know, I don't want to. I, I don't want to insult German people, but wearing sandals <laughs> with socks is a little bit outdated. Please oh, don't do that. Brilliant. You know, we have a we have a thing now called political correctness. You can't do that. You can't wear socks and sandals. Hey Adam, how are you doing? Well, thank you very much. So guys, uh, I would like to thank you all for joining me today for uh, the Stereo Talk. And uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, just a couple last words. Uh, anyone that you want to say something, uh, you know, just one sentence so we can go just one by one from left to right. So Kevin, some words. Just uh, thanks to everyone for um, putting the questions over. Thanks for the time. Thanks for the invite. Good to see you guys, and keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, Kev. See ya. Ciao. Chris. Uh, call me, dude. <laughs> okay. Shane. <laughs> uh, the <ten> kids. <laughs> Neil. <laughs> I'll do a long one. <laughs> thanks for thanks for the invite. Uh, just a quick one. If you want to, you know, you mentioned about twenty years being married. If you want to check out what I did as a present for my wife, head over to my YouTube channel. Or maybe and, you can uh, post it in our chat on Twitch. On you know, there. or and by the way, guys, if you want to check out some of our guys, I think they all of them have a Twitch account and Instagram. So for Shane, check for Ghost Etiquette. For Kevin, just look for Kevin Hort. And I think uh, Neil Hunter is Neil Hunter, really easy. And Chris Le would be tryout official on all of the social media. And if you want to know something about me, which I don't recommend, uh, just look for the order DJ. All right, guys, thank you so much uh, for being here today for with us for Stereo Talk. And I can't wa wait to see you uh, in about uh, 30 days. Love you all. Thank you very much. And